Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Hyperion Blue G Champion, and let's going on over to take on the same look like again on Gran Turismo Sport for another custom race. So I'm a, I'm about to go in and start bringing out Toyota 86 GT 2015 along with the Subaru BRC S 2015. Well, definitely for starters here for you. The Toyota 86 GT was been introduced to the game since its release. And now, the Subaru BRCS was definitely added as part of the May update. Well, I kind of think that the WR Blue Pearl for the Subaru car and the Pure Red for the Toyota. Well, I'm just going to have to give a little look-alike differences to it. So, maybe let's start out with the Toyota for only for two rounds. Well, it is definitely quite the same model and the different brand boards, but different body style boards. Now, maybe let's just go on over to take on the race and let's get everything started out here. So, beginners on the first round. So, let's just go on over to Tokyo Expressway Central Outer Loop. So, I kind of think that this is going to be quite surprisingly to see what the same car is going to be turned out to be. Well, definitely, it was used to be as the 2012 model version of the Toyota 86 GT was definitely appear in Gran Turismo 5. Well, in the 2015 in GT Sports, that's definitely quite the show to be look alike for it. And then at the then wait before until Scion build the FRS was definitely quite shown. But it was definitely an American brand, but the same model to be it. So, before that, after the FRS, Subaru BRC just came in as a 2012 model for it. But the three differences model was quite practically shown to be look alike. Well, Toyota 86 GT and Scion FRS are the same models, but definitely a different brand. But it looks like the Subaru BRCS has that different style board, but not actually the same. So, looks like this is going to be giving a little example talk about these two cars are quite the same model for it. Alright, so let's, here we are, arrive at Tokyo, and maybe let's check if the Subaru BRC is in it. Well, another 86 GT came, starts in 7th place, and looks like, there it is, ninth place. Well, it is definitely but the last video with the Renault Sport Celio RS220 ETC Trophy 2015 and 2016. Just wanted to be sure if this is going to be get ready to go for only the first round. So, racing on the noon for a cloudy day. So, here we go and let's race that 86 GT in for only a spin. Well, looks like this is the interior view for the Toyota 86 to be giving out that good style for it. It was definitely just like the 2012 version. Well, I'm just racing around in Tokyo Expressway to see how the handling might be turned out to be quite well as always. The original design of the Toyota 86 GT was definitely based off the of the concept Toyota sports car known as the FT86 concept. It was also seen in Gran Turismo 5 and Gran Turismo 6 as the game for it. Well, it is an expensive vehicle, but it is quite very stylish looking vehicle. It would be almost just like a Supra, but kind of a different specs for it. Later until 2012, Toyota A6 GT was made as a new final version of the design based on the FT86. Well, definitely the Toyota FT86 concept has made a second version, was definitely marked as the standard vehicle, but it, does, it is a premium car, of course. 
but it doesn't show the interior that it has to be covered up in black. Alright, there's the Subaru BRCS, definitely driving in in a different color. Okay, let's slide right turn and move on into the next lap. Yep, BR I just passed that BRC and it looks like maybe if the Toyota Scion I mean, a Scion FRS is going to be in Gran Turismo Sport as a 2015 model, but this is definitely a, a three-way same model for it because it will definitely quite perfect to be for a multi-woman race. Kind of, kind of like having an event from Gran Turismo 6 to be quite very good to be used for a one-man challenge of wonders. Well, actually, that's how 86 GT does it for the first start of it. Now, there are other version types of the Toyota 86 GT board. Well, there's one is the GR MN. Well, it's definitely a newer version. And it looks like that the Toyota 86 GT has that racing version, but not the aerodynamic parts, but the same model with uh, racing compound power tires installed for it. Maybe this is definitely quite the same for it, but different kinds of the interior. Well, it also has that basic model was introduced to Grand Turismo 6, but it later becomes as a Group 4 race car. But man, I cannot believe it that there are three exactly Toyota A6 GTs in Grand Turismo Sport was definitely quite seen to be introduced to me. But this is quite very giving out the same differences and different version models as different car classes. Well, even me, of course, that was N200 sports car was definitely introduced to the game as, well, maybe earlier in the beta version. It was quite very shown to be as a very good sports car. Well, maybe some of the players haven't used the Toyota A6 GT in the beta version, but maybe until the full game release came out for it. Alright, coming in, putting on the turn, just watch it closely, passing on that Alpine. Like I'm on the first, gonna have to keep an eye out. Okay, dive on in slightly on the second tunnel. Okay, taking on the third tunnel until the final stretch. So, just as the Toyota 86 GT was definitely the popular sports car in Japan, but the Scion FRS was giving the same differences of the body style type work. Now I guess that this will be a three-way same model until if the FRS is going to be in the game for by having a next update or maybe in the future. Alright, so it looks like I finally got in first place. Very good. Toyota 86 GT come in first for only one round. And looks like I finally got some of the clean race bonus for doing a wonderful job or using the 2015 Toyota 86. Alright, so let's just go on over to take on the next course. Just gonna have to make sure if this is gonna be possibly quite well for it. Okay, now maybe let's just give a little course select here to be going on over to Suzuka 
East Course. Now let's go over the daytime. Well, maybe I'm just gonna have to save it for only two rounds for only two for only one car at a given time. Well, this is the second round for the Toyota A6 GT to be quite good to be used for it until I'm about to start bringing out the Subaru BRCS for only taking the first round for it. But I kind of think. This field segment is only going to have to take two stages for only one single vehicle. Alright, going on into the east course, here we go and let's do it. Okay, well there are two Toyota A6 GT as I just saw. This one is the sports car version now. About to go in and catch up to the DRMN. Okay, take a little dive in. See? That's the DRMN. That one is the tuner version. Well, possibly it is a tuner version of the Toyota A6 GT. Maybe I'll just have to pass by it. Okay. There we go, keep it up. Gonna have to slide right to be more careful. Okay, watch out for that BMW M3 Sport Evolution. Woohoo! Almost get caught bumping in the Apple Romero 4C. Well, landed forward for the final turn. Now there's the red BRC, definitely that's the same color, but this is definitely has that different body style on the front. I'll make sure I'll check it out later on. Okay, watch out for that Supra on the rear. There you go. Okay, looks like the Toyota MR2 is going to do that technique corner since Grand Turismo PlayStation Portable. Alright. Oops. Okay, sorry about that rear MR2. Alright, so looks like the Toyota SFR Racing Concept and the Alpine is coming behind closer in for the final lap. Maybe this is going to be a hard to find out if it's going to be quite good or not. No! Okay, well my mistake first corner takes a little hard dive in sorry about that just gotta have to keep more concentration whenever I have to okay let's check on the section best Okay, almost there. Nope, I'm not going to make it in first because Alpine just came in first, but that one is going to be in, in third place. Well, I kind of think this is going to be a hard turn for this unexpectedly. Bummer. That almost gave me a better chance to do it. Alright, so looks like 40 mileage points is definitely coming out of the clock for it. Well, looks like this might be the right time to go on in and change the vehicle. Now, let's just go and use the Subaru BRC S2015 to be introduced to the game. Well, probably it was part of the main update. 
so this might be quite good to see if this is gonna be quite giving out a chance for the Subaru model. Alright, so let's just go on over to the scuba circuit and let's go on over to take a little cloudy conditions or maybe let's just pick the fine weather on the noon. Yep, looks like it's time for another three lap race to short once again for it. But probably this time, I'm just gonna have to go and use the medium tires for now. All right, now here, here we are arriving at Scuba. Now let's just go in and get everything set up. But this time, medium tires are also quite to be placed. Sorry, just gonna setting up everything. All right, let's go. And this is stage two, race one. Okay, this is the new BRC, and let's go and try it out for a spin. So the interior view was definitely the same, but a different version of it. Well, Subaru BRCS has that kind of an interior view for it. Well, you may know the Falcon Tire slash Turn 14 Distribution BRC 2017. Well, it is a drift car was introduced to the February update. Well, it was made its debut. That was definitely shown as Coupe X. That one is definitely based from the Subaru BRCS 2015. But this is definitely quite good to have that Subaru sports car to be in the game. Now, looks like... Okay, looks like Renault Sports Celio RS 220 trophy 2016 and 2015 coming in to join the party right now pass on in overtake that dr and in Okay, final lap, here we go, and I kind of guess this is going to be harder to be looked to be expected in, folks. Kind of to make sure if I could pass the Toyota SF Bar GT concept. Step it up a notch. So there are other versions of the game featuring the Subaru BRC was definitely also appeared in the crew. Well, the crew has the Sub as the Subaru BRC was in the game for it, but it has two different specs versions of it, three and performance specs. Well, the other. 
Well, there is a drifting spec has introduced as part of the wild ground hack. And it looks like... And I'm definitely not going to be in second place for it. Just giving a little short time for it. So I'm just going to have to finish up the daily workout for this test. Alright, so it looks like third place, same thing as the Toyota 86 GT. But I'll make sure I'm going to have to work harder next time to add up a number of laps for giving a little driving exercise. So, looks like 40 miles points by under a thousand credits could be giving a little short time for it. Now, let's just go on over to take on the next and final course. So, just already did Tokyo Expressway Suzuka Circuit and the Tsukuba Circuit. So, maybe let's go over to Kyoto Driving Park, Yamaguita. So, this is gonna be a quite excellent extended exercise for for the Subaru BRC but probably let's just go on afternoon for a different condition now just have to wait until the Subaru BRC is gonna try out the Yamaguita course Alright, so this race can only take three laps around the course for it. So I kind of think that let's check the starting grid. Well, I kind of guess that the. Uh, maybe I'll just check on the settings for it. So it looks like it only has that performance of 196 horsepower, but it was definitely quite shown. But I can't scroll down on the starting grid, but. Maybe let's start and get ready to go for the final round. Alright, time for the BRC to get ready to move. Okay, race is start. Now let's get this party rolling. Okay, well, the race is the same thing as usual for only three laps by giving a little extended amount of time. Well, probably the two Renault Sports 2015 and 2016 was definitely quite reach here for only every single race by N200 vision category. Well, I kind of get think that the Subaru BRC S and Toyota A6 GT are Definitely quite sharing the same car class division, but definitely the same performance, but differently in their in their own way. Now, looks like this is going to be a quite successful, interesting race to see how it goes, and looks like the white BRC was definitely up here. Okay, here it goes, and watch out for any cars that I'm bumping into the chicane. Concept. 
I think that this is going to be a hard struggle to use any standard N200 car. This is going to be quite harder to be prepared for only on small forces, but it only has to be upgradable to give you a little extra tune-up. Well, I'm just going to have to give out any extra tips for you guys. Right, and I'll pass that more focus. Moving on into the Toyota SFR Racing Concept. Looks like the sun giving a better view of the interior. Just wanted to see if this is going to be quite good, of course. Alright, almost there and past that Alpine. Keep climbing up. Oh, looks like the French car doesn't want to give up for it. Not a chance. Looks like the first place on the lead thanks to the Subaru VRC. Alright, so only, we only see 127 kilometers a meter thanks to the speed monitor. It was definitely practically shown for differences as well. Driving on mileage could be giving a little standard for US version. Well, definitely used in Europe and Japan as always. Well, it was giving a little more speed example for it. Okay, there's the 107 miles that's definitely shown. Just giving a little increased distance. Alright, so it looks like the final lap is going in for it. Guess this is the only chance to win this race. Take the downhill lane and take on the chicane. Okay, very good. Take a little extra grip to be slotted in very tightly. Alpine is still trying to catch up to do some more paces. Okay, let's take the last chicane and head on over to the final hairpin corner. And it looks like this is quite differently the exact riddle, definitely just like the Toyota A6 GT for it. Just first round is for the win, second pause. And the BRC is first loss and now second win. Well, differently, it was quite an opposite effect by these two models for it. Alright, looks like the BRC has finally made its first win. Very good. That was quite very good to see it. Alright, so the clean race bonus just gained, earned a, a successful win. Well, maybe just kind of had to put it in to make one more track. 
So let's just see. Just going on over to time trial and just giving a little short lap to see how it goes out here at the Miyabi track. Well, the daily workout is not yet finished, but. Maybe it'll wait until this will load up any time. Well, on second thought, I kind of think I'm just gonna have to start over and add a new clip for just giving a little ra final part for giving, let you guys know for it. So, the Subaru BRCS was introduced to the May update and the Toyota A6 GT 2015 was introduced to the game since October 2017. Well, I kind of think that the, to that the Scion FRS is gonna be appear in the next update or maybe in the future of course well this will be a three-way one make race practically just like the super gt500 race cars was shown in the march update for it well i kind of think the wr blue pearl for the brcs is definitely quite good to be shown here as a sports car well maybe we also saw it here at the February update as a drift car for it, of course. Well, I hope you really enjoyed this video, you guys. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to click like, comment, and subscribe on YouTube. Or check it out the two links below in the description if you want to see more for it. Well, I guess this is the second time for bringing out a, a look-alike difference model for this video, you guys. So... Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time for another race on Gran Turismo Sports, and have a wonderful day.